I have no idea what that says. Whew, the bargain of the bargains, I'm telling you. Please bury me in this. <laughs> First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Do you guys vibe with this background or not? I'm undecided personally. I mean, it's kind of cute. Let me know. Do you like it? Do you hate it? It only took me about half an hour to set this up, so I'll only be a little bit offended if you don't like it. Today, my friends, I want to share with you some of my recent purchases. However, little disclaimer, if you're here for some outfit inspo, you're in the wrong place because this haul is ultimate cosy vibes. I'm talking grab a cuppa. I want to share some bargs that I've picked up in the January sales. I'm going to have a little chinwag about it. Looking at this pile of stuff I'm feeling very smug that I've only paid full price for one thing right this first item I feel is gonna really set the tone for this video so I hopped onto ASOS and I found something that's right up my street baby pink soft dressing gown one of the softest things I've ever felt in my life. This is actually from Topshop, and this was supposed to be £26, but it was down to 18 Not gonna lie, I'm usually a Primark dressing gown kind of girl because they're so cheap, but I'm the kind of person that lives in dressing gowns, PJs, comfy clothes. And I'm not really talking about the kind of girl that wears loungewear and looks effortlessly beautiful. I'm talking about me. What can I say? other than catch me in this dressing gown for the rest of my life. Little bit morbid, but if I die anytime soon, please bury me in this. <laughs> then the other day I went into the body shop. They've always got some kind of offer on, but oh my goodness, I have found a little gem. So the other day I used one of these tea tree anti-imperfection peel off masks. Basically it's in a little tub, you add cold water to it, mix it up, shove it on your face, Bob's your uncle. I'd never used it before and I think one came in the body shop's advent calendar so that's why I had one I've never bought one and I tried it out the other day my skin was looking a little bit unhappy I think the amount of chocolate that I've eaten over the Christmas holidays it really affected my skin specifically my chinny chin chin I really like the feel of this mask it's basically like a jelly mask but it made a massive difference to the appearance of the blemishes on my chin I bought three <laughs> they had a little three for two offer going on so these are five pound each but I got three of them for ten pounds oh my goodness have I got a bargain to share with you on this next thing Whew! The bargain of the bargains, I'm telling you. I also popped into H&M and I found this sweatshirt. I have no idea what that says. I'm hoping it's some kind of dessert. It reminded me of eating mess, so it can only be a positive. I really like the colour of this and I know that might come as a surprise because I usually say this colour is not for me because I am this colour. <laughs> my skin, my hair, I feel like it just fades into me a little bit, but I'm quite liking that at the minute. I'm loving a little natural tone. I would pair this with a pair of white joggers probably, or even like another nude tone. I'm just vibing with it. It's very cool. It's very cash. But the coolest thing about this sweatshirt was the price. So the original price of this, $17.99. How much did I pay, I hear you ask? Six pounds, my friends. Six pounds. Pounds. I'm obsessed with this six pound jumper. The sleeves are so nice and long. I've gone for the little bra tuck trick at the front. I like it. Cute outfit. Cute and comfy. Talking of soft things. This next thing is also from Topshop, but this time I actually went into a Topshop and bought these. These are the one item that are full price and they're pajama bottoms. I kid you not, probably the softest thing I've ever felt in my whole 21 and a half years of existence. My mind was blown. I had to buy them. They were 22 pounds. Would I usually pay that for pajama bottoms? Absolutely not. Would I pay that if something is incredibly soft? Always. They're like a little bit cinched in at the ankles, <laughs> bottom of the leg leg sleeve. <laughs> they're also elasticated at the waist and they've got a little tie. I got them in a size small because they do look quite stretchy. They look quite baggy and nice. Oh, I'm going to have a nice little pamper night. Shave my legs because they definitely need doing. Little moisturise, whack these on. I'm living the life. Oh my goodness, these pyjama bottoms. They're quite thin, but they are the softest things. They are quite big though, I will say that. Considering I got these in a small, and I'm usually a medium, I could have gone down to an extra small, so just bear that in mind from Topshop. But they've got this string, so I can do them up, and I actually quite like the way they feel when they're done up tight. Right, final place I picked some things up from. This is what inspired this haul. I did a little shop on In The Style. I know, she's a classy gal. I feel like In The Style is probably the website that's most my fashion sense out of all of them, but it is a little bit more 
expensive than Pretty Little Thing or Misguided. At least I feel like it is. Although I'm proving this fact wrong in this haul because the other day they had an under £10 section. I know, I was shook and so was my bank account. The first thing I got from In The Style is this lovely little cropped jumper. I really like the colour of this. I'm not a massively pink during the day kind of gal. I'm a pink at home kind of gal. But I just thought this colour was beautiful and I thought it'd be so easy to wear. It's got nice big sleeves. It feels really nice quality. Like I would probably pay £30 for this from somewhere else I would say. But £10. 10 squid. That's it. So this is what the jumper looks like on. I was going to say obviously not with the pyjama bottoms. But this is actually quite a realistic outfit for me. But I love this jumper. Here's a little close up. The colour of it is so cute. I feel like this would suit any skin tone. Good purchase. Nice one hand. Smashed it. The next thing that I picked up. I've actually uploaded a picture of this on my Instagram already. Here it is. But it's this little t-shirt that says anti-diet diet club. Because that's a club that this girl wants to be in all of her life. But guess how much this was? In the under £10 section, a fiver. A fiver! Five pounds. And again, I love the colour of it. It's this natural colour. I like her a lot. Anti-diet diet club. I've just tied this up with a little hairband. As you can see here, I've literally just like spun it around itself and put a little hairband on it. And I feel like it looks so cute. I love this colour combo. I love the little bit of pink in there. Speaking of easy to wear, I picked up a little cord for £10 again. I do have a little bone to pick with this though. On the website, this says grey. To me, this is lilac. Maybe some people see it as grey, some people see it as lilac. All the websites just catfishing me a little bit. To be honest with you, I'm not mad about the top. I will wear it, but that wasn't the reason why I bought this cohort. The reason was because of the trousers. These just have an elasticated waist, but they are wide leg ribbed trousers. Super easy to wear. £10 for a cohort. I would have paid £10 for the trousers. I would have paid more than £10 for the trousers. The reason I I bought these was for the sake of Neil the Postman because Neil the Postman sees me almost every day in just my PJs so I thought Do you know what Han let's invest in some more comfy clothing like I needed anymore so that when I answer the door to Neil the Postman sometimes it looks like I have my life together so here's the little cohort on I love these trousers this elastic's also not too tight at all it's really nice and just soft oh my gosh this dress this is from Fashion Influx's collection within the style I have other pieces from her collections I think they're always beautiful but this dress was £10 I am a bit gutted though because it is too small for me so I'm gonna have to return this and I'm gonna see if it's in another size because I love the look of this it's a little wraparound dress it looks so classy so cute but there's no stretch in the material so the eight was just a little bit too small for me oh I've just seen another thing that I paid full price for whoops this is gonna be I already know this is gonna be a bit of a marmite dress with you guys some of you are probably gonna think Han are you okay do you need to talk Talk. I, however, am fine and I'm loving this dress. I love the colours of this, but the thing I love most is the sleeves. How cute is that? Obviously, it buttons up halfway. It's very flowy at the bottom. This is from Billy Fair's collection. There is a little loose thread, though, which is a bit disappointing because this was £35, so not the cheapest. But my vision for this is to stick it with a little belt round it, maybe. Maybe just wear it flowy. Leather jacket, DMs. This is the kind of dress that I would wear when it's still a little bit brisk outside. Get your dictionary out. This dress is not looking the same on camera as it looks in person. In person, when I look in the mirror, I really like it. Then I look in the camera and I feel like I look like an old lady. I got this in a size 10 because I thought it would look better flowy, but I actually think the size 8 would probably look nicer. A little bit more cinched in. If it's going to be one of those dresses that's not photogenic, I mean, is it even worth it? If you can't get an Insta out of it, is it the one? On the other end of the spectrum, bringing it back down to earth, love a pair of joggers. You can never have too many joggers. And I really liked these ones from Lottie Tomlinson's collection. Obviously, they're this camel colour, but I like the quilting. But again, the leg sleeves are elasticated, which is great. The waist is elasticated. They just feel super comfortable. And in the under £10 section, these were a tenner. How cute are these? They're nice and comfy, and they're not too fleecy in the summer, so that would be great when it's a little bit warmer as well. And the last thing, I didn't actually buy this. This came free with my all but I thought I'd chuck it in because I love a freebie. This little t-shirt, I believe this is from Jacqueline Joss's new range. It says chocolate over everything. They send this in one size. This is an extra large. This will be perfect to wear to bed or if you like 
painting, not that I'm ever painting, but if I was painting, this t-shirt would be perfect for it. And I think they just had a deal on the website where anything you bought, you got a free one of these. So love that for me. And here's my little chalky over everything tea. You can actually buy this on the website. I think it's 12 pounds. I really like it. It feels really soft. Always appreciate a freebie. And that my friends is everything that I've picked up in the January sales. I am really pleased with all of this because I feel like I haven't spent loads and loads, but all my shopping needs are satisfied. I'm just pleased with myself and I'm feeling smug about some of the bargains that I've picked up so I wanted to share them just for that reason. Let me know in the comments down below have you picked up anything in the January sales that you're so pleased with that you're feeling smug and telling all your mates about. Make sure you subscribe to see my future videos but anyway thanks for listening to my rambles I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys love ya!